hello hello once again and welcome to all of you welcome new timers please hit that subscribe button and the like button the share button the comment button <laughs> definitely comment below because I love to hear from you okay all right so welcome back community and welcome 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 today is our part two of my continued video for my do's and don'ts last time we had do's this time we have don'ts what you don't do if you want to keep success on setting up for a vendor event especially book fairs and other products that you might want to sell at a vendor fair so let's get right into it so the don't you don't want to do <laughs> you don't want to do if you want success at your next vendor event fair etc please number one do not overcrowd your table or do not leave your table without a tablecloth you do not want for a messy nor an unattractive table so please don't overcrowd your table. Make sure it has the tablecloth on and ready. Please do not come late. Don't come late. You show up late, you miss your potential buyers, clients, lifetime clients. Because when I say clients and buyers, they're two different. Yes, they're two different um, definitions because you have the customer and you have the visitor to your table that might appreciate your work right might say oh I love this this is needed I love this definitely keep up the good work I will buy again or take a card to buy then you have the customer that will come appreciate it purchase it at glance and they want it they want to see more of it then you have the client for me that is the customer that will be repeating. They will be the repetitive customer. They want to see your line of works, of art, your book, your product all the time. They'll buy and keep buying. So you don't want to miss out on the opportunity of having a customer, even a visitor, or a lifetime client. So please show up, show out, and be on time. Next, please do not overload your table with heavy or large products that can cause your table to have little or no space or worse, crash, collapse. Yes, definitely collapse and I've seen this on three instances already in my venture on going out there and becoming a book fear vendor and it was not a pretty sight i felt really really bad for those persons one collapsed things were too heavy had big candles i believe and another one collapsed and they had a big stand on it with the books so yeah um they're called collapsible tables and folding tables for a reason. They can fold, e um, break easily or crash. So you can't put really, really heavy materials on there. So be careful with that. Do not overload your table. You don't want to do that. Three, um, please do not show up with thinking that everything is going to be provided for you. Come prepared so you're not anxious, you're not stressed, and you're ready to greet the crowd that will be awaiting to see what you have to offer. So definitely want to be prepared. Make a checklist, create a checklist so that you don't forget anything. Do not show up thinking that the place has everything for you already. Please don't wear the grouchy look. You don't want a grouchy appearance. Don't do that. It will turn away or turn off your potential visitors, buyers, and lifetime clients. 
with an unpleasant appearance. No one wants to approach you. You are not approachable. So be that approachable vendor, okay? Say hello, how can I help you? Or share and present your works of art, your books, your product. What is it about? What does it do? Share with them and let them choose and decide whether or not they want to purchase. Next, don't leave the event before it's done. If it's from one to four, pack up around five to or before or after the event is over because sometimes you have those stragglers, those last minute shoppers that will come around and look, but then they want to shop afterwards. So you might pick up some clients or buyers just at the end. Don't give up. Don't feel, oh, I wasn't doing too well. You know, I didn't get much visitors. No one really bought. So I'm going to just throw in the towel and leave. Don't feel like that. Stay the course and it will pay off. Say a prayer. Say a prayer. You never know. I know. I know, I know that prayers do work and they move mountains. So say a prayer, stay the course and hold on because you might have those last minute buyers and I've seen it happen, I really have. There was, I remember even this guy, just this last fear behind me and didn't have so many um, visitors to his table but then at the end about two or three people came and actually purchased. Um, his products so definitely hang in there and wait it out okay and lastly lastly don't stay away from your table I get that maybe you need to rush to the bathroom and come back try to have someone there if you don't be back quickly you don't want to spend 10 20 you know minutes away because that's a potential buyer a potential client for life that you could be missing out on. I have seen people leave their tables, people come to their tables and waited a good three, four minutes hoping they'll show up because they were interested in the product or the book at hand and they left, they walked away not seeing anyone and feeling hopeless. <laughs> Guess what? One actually came around to my table and purchased something. So I was happy about that, but I felt really bad for that vendor who left for too long, didn't show out. So you gotta show up and show out, stay the course, stay at your table and present your product so that it can be purchased as well. Okay, all right. So I hope this was all helpful for you. If it was, do let me know in the comment area and like and share so others can definitely use these tips as well. What not to do. So this is all for now. Check the description box always for any extras or the list that I have at hand for you that will come in handy for your checklist or for your reminders for next time you're setting up for a book fair or any kind of vendor event. Until next time, subscribe, like, share, definitely comment because I love to hear from you. I'm Andrea Eccles. Stay safe and take care.